So before this, it's been like around a year since I've posted a video. Before that, it was another year. So essentially, it's been two years since I've really done this. And so with that in mind, it, it already kind of seems like I've quit YouTube. But I always promised myself that when I finally made the like official decision, if I did, to walk away and really quit, um, that I would make one last video because I don't want to just like leave you hanging and not explain myself and just kind of like this my experience on YouTube means too much to me to just kind of walk away from and not have a real ending and real closure so that's kind of what I'm trying to accomplish today for me, for you, for our channel here. So this is my last video. Um, I haven't really planned what I'm gonna say. There are several things I wanna touch on. And so um, I guess like the main reason why I'm quitting is the most important reason for me to be posting this. Um, I started YouTube in 2012 with the overly attached girlfriend and the meme and all that stuff. I would say after about a year of doing YouTube, I started to feel the stress and the weight of the job more than I ever had before. It started to feel like a job more than it ever had before. With it all thrown at me, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. and. Um, you know, I put out a video every week and I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys I love meeting you guys and other youtubers and going on trips and seeing cool places and doing cool things It's awesome. I am so grateful, but at the same time It's it's so brand new that I think it was just really overwhelming in the beginning and Even now there are days when I just feel like you know, I have no idea what I'm doing um, I started to feel a lot of pressure to make up my mind career-wise, figure out where I was going to go with YouTube or after YouTube, beyond YouTube, and I couldn't do it confidently, and it really stressed me out. Lately, so where do you see your career in the next five years? Well, if I've learned anything from this, it's that I don't know what I'm doing in like five days. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with YouTube as long as I can. What's the future for you looking like? What's your What's your vision for the next few years? What would you like to be doing? I have no idea. I don't. I mean, I don't know cool. what I'll be doing tomorrow. So um, I think I'm going to ride YouTube. Probably out. here though, right? You well, might be here. I'll probably be a playlist live. Maybe Sunday. I think I have a meet and greet at like three. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think I'll just kind of like ride YouTube out for as long. It lasts and then maybe do something beyond that eventually, but we'll, we'll see what happens. If, if you're gonna look back at your videos or like in, in the next year, do you wanna do you wanna be Lena, the, the vlogger, more of a comedian, actress? After about a year and a half of doing it, I started to feel um, a bit depressed and starting around like 2014, I would say the beginning of 2014, um, I sort of landed myself in a real deep depression and I was keeping it a real deep secret from everyone around me. I felt ashamed and I felt guilt for being stressed and overwhelmed in a world and with a job and opportunities that were so great, I didn't understand why I couldn't handle it. For years, um, I was battling a really complicated and difficult, and for me, for some reason, almost embarrassing, um, thing that is depression. I didn't understand it. I was really hard on myself because of it. You know, I was posting videos and 
I still really, really wanted to, but at the same time, I would be like posting a happy, upbeat video, and then I would have like a breakdown, and then I would edit the video, post the video, and then have another breakdown. Um, I started around, I think, 2015 recording like a sort of like a video diary for myself that I never planned on anyone else seeing. Uh, just to like keep track of what was going on in my life. I wanted to be able to look back on it and hopefully like see progress and um, by that point sitting in front of a camera and talking had become very natural. It become one of the only ways that I could really like talk through things for some reason. To give you a bit of an idea of like what I was going through, I'm going to show you a few of those clips. They are very embarrassing. <laughs> um, they're from a very difficult time in my life and I really struggled with the decision to show them to you but I think in the end the message that I want to give to you through those videos is more important than saving myself the embarrassment. So um, first I guess I just want you to take a look at a few of these videos that you were never supposed to see. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. All I do is just sit at home and think about how one day I'll have it figured out, you know? But I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything to figure it out. I have been stressed for way too long, depressed for way too long, and I'm just feeling really, really good. And I finally feel like I'm kind of back to my old, normal self. This is just so frustrating because I'm finally feeling good. I'm finally motivated and I'm stuck. Like. Like, where do I go from here? I don't know. And it's Thursday. And I don't have a video. It just feels very selfish to be this upset because I can't be successful in what I want to do when I'm, I'm I'm fine. I own a house and a car and I'm doing fine. I feel better like than I've been feeling but I'm still very stuck and I'm trying like am I trying? I don't know. So as you can tell, I was dealing with a lot privately. Um, in 2017, I decided to take a break from YouTube. I had just moved to Arizona from Texas with my boyfriend who also like I've never really mentioned on this channel. So surprise, like I've been with him since before you ever knew who I was this whole time. I was really kind of just overwhelmed with the regular stress that comes with moving, like moving a far distance, all of our stuff, saying goodbye to all of our friends. It was just a difficult moment and I decided to take a break from YouTube thinking that it might be a week or two weeks or a month or that maybe I wouldn't take a full break. Maybe I would just post irregularly, not like once a week or twice a week, whatever I was doing then. And then like taking a small break turned into not posting for an entire year and then since that last video it's been another year and in that year I have gone to therapy, I have really thought this through, I have time and time again like battled in my head, do I want to do this, do I want to quit YouTube and I've come to this point in this moment today where I can like confidently sit in front of this camera and say that it's time for me to say goodbye to you guys and um, officially end this thing that I've been really holding on to and like not wanting to let go of. With saying goodbye though, I want to put a really important message out there to you guys and anyone who's just anyone who's watching this. Um, I got help for my depression. I started seeing a therapist who, after nine months of convincing, led me to a psychiatrist who um, 
prescribed me medication for my depression and anxiety and it was a surprisingly really really hard decision to make to take that medication I don't know why um I think I just I struggled a lot accepting the fact that I needed help with my mental health I I've never really like judged anyone else for that I've never like seen a friend or a family member or even like a stranger going through something and thought like that it's not real or that they should just get over it or that medication is bad but for some reason when it was me like I had a very tough time I left the pharmacy the first time I picked it up and I cried in the parking lot of the pharmacy and like I didn't know what to do in fact if I can find it, I'm pretty sure I filmed a video um, because I thought it felt important if I ever was going to talk about my mental health, it felt important to just like record that that moment. So that day I think I filmed something and if I can find it, I'll put it here. Yesterday I had my first appointment with a psychiatrist who prescribed me some medication for depression and anxiety. I was supposed to start taking it today and I haven't and I don't know what's going on but I'm like really scared to take it. Part of it is that I've read online like side effects and I guess maybe I'm just afraid of that. It, even though I talked to my psychiatrist about it and got like all the information that like made me feel better and you know I don't know there's just something in me that's like not letting me do this. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm afraid to take it. I think having to like face that I am not okay on my own is hard. It makes me feel weak for some reason. It makes me feel... I don't know. I don't know, like I'm just not okay. I think I'm like afraid that it's not even gonna work or that the side effects will be so bad that it won't be worth it. Like, I can't help but think there's something wrong with me because I need this. And then I'm not like able to give myself everything that I need and I have to pay to put drugs in me to just make me normal, like I don't know. Also, why can't I do this in therapy? I can't ever talk about it. I just like push it all down and say that I'm okay and I'm clearly not okay. I'm also just stressed, by the way, because we are moving and we have to move fast and it's a long, complicated story, but um, I think it's just a lot all at once. Anyway. Okay. So that was really hard and thankfully, eventually over time, I realized that getting that medication and taking that step was one of the best decisions I could have ever made. Last time I talked about this, uh, I was crying for a very different reason. I've been on medication now for a few weeks. I feel like I got my prescription the first time and I immediately started like trying to to find validation in other people and be like I got this I'm gonna take this and like hear what they had to say about it before deciding how I felt about it when when I needed to just trust me and and understand that like this is my journey these are my decisions this is my mind this experience has really made me want to speak up more about my own like, journey and like help people who maybe felt how I did just a few weeks ago. Like I was terrified to take the medication and I, I feel like it needs to be way more normalized. Like if you need it, you need it, take it. If it even just helps one person feel less alone in their own journey, then that's what I want to do. Um, so I just wanted to record this and say like, you know, it's really, really important to 
care about yourself and to trust yourself to validate your own decisions for yourself and to be proud of yourself <laughs> and I'm really really proud of myself I just feel good about it <laughs> and I just woke up so sorry for no I'm not <laughs> made it helped me a lot um and one thing that really helped me to accept the fact that i needed it was seeing people talk about it in media online and on tv and hearing people specifically actually um kristen bell who i love has talked very openly about her depression and her um use of medication and that is something that actually really helped me accept it in myself so it is very important to me that with this video i do mention my experience and let you know that depression is hard and it hurts and it f can make you feel crazy and it can make you feel very alone and it can make you feel like you will never fully get better because there are highs and lows and the lows are so low but when you're feeling good it can be really scary because you don't know how long that feeling will last when you start to feel bad again it can be scary because you thought you had gotten over it right like I get it I know how hard it is and I'm sure also that it's different for everyone but that is my experience getting medication helped me there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking medication because you are doing nothing but helping yourself. All that means is that you are willing to do anything you can do to help yourself. And that's a great thing. And you should absolutely do that. And um, so I really want to encourage anyone who's watching this that is feeling really bad and feels like they're struggling with depression or anxiety or any other mental illness like please reach out for help and please like take the time to really like accept that in yourself and and really like love yourself through it because you can have a therapist you can have a psychiatrist you can have family and friends you can have Kristen Bell on YouTube but at the end of the day you are alone with you and your own thoughts and you need to love yourself. I think I needed to hear that one come out of my own mouth for some reason. Um, and it's not easy. There are still ups and downs. It's not like you take a pill and suddenly you're perfectly happy. It's more like you're regulated with normal emotions and like you still have bad days, but they're just not as bad all the time and you still have good days and you still have your emotions that's something that I was really scared of after reading things online about medication I was afraid that I would feel nothing if I took medication that I wouldn't have any emotions anymore and it's not the case I just felt more in control and it's the best thing that I've done for myself it's the best thing you can do for yourself if you're in that position also um, so I just want to put that message out into the world and uh, encourage anyone who might be watching this who needs to hear it. And with that, um, I also just want to say that depression, anxiety, difficult moments, they're not the whole reason that I am quitting YouTube. I have also just grown up and life has changed and my priorities have changed and my relationship with YouTube honestly like started to become more negative than positive and I'm just in a place where like I know as much as I don't want to admit it I know that this part of my life is done and it's time to say goodbye and um how's it feel to be broken up with by the overly attached girlfriend <laughs> anyway <laughs> before I go before I officially say goodbye 
um, I want to say thank you for your support, for your kindness. For giving me something that I really needed at a time when I really needed it. For giving your time to caring about me and my life. For giving me opportunities that I never would have had otherwise. Um, for giving me my dream car. <laughs> A trip to London, a trip to Singapore, letting me like have all of the experiences that I've had. It's all because of you guys and your support for giving your money to Dare to Share and to Sloan and for being there when I really needed you, even when you didn't know that I really needed you. Um, to everyone that I've met in person, to everyone that's written a letter, drawn me a picture, sent me a postcard, like every moment of this, even through the really hard times, like every moment of this experience and of YouTube, I have met some of my best friends through this platform that will last a lifetime. You gave me a confidence that I did not have before YouTube. You have given me experiences that you don't even know you've given me. Because of YouTube and because of you watching me, I have gotten to meet people I would have never gotten to meet, go places I would have never gotten to go. And while this is really sad, I promise you that I know that this is the right decision. And <laughs> this is why I've been putting it off. <laughs> That's it. I just want to say thank you. Um, I love you guys. I promise I've thought this through. I promise. I promise that I want to do this. It's just, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> um, I think... I got to end this with a, a fun, probably sad, <laughs> um, a little montage of our time together set to some music. So uh, let's do that. And um, it's, it's bittersweet. I know that this is what needs to happen, but I will miss you guys. Um, I'm still on Instagram. I'm still on Twitter, you can follow me there. Uh, don't follow me in real life. This is the part where I normally tell you to subscribe, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you for believing in me and supporting in me. Supporting me, I can't even speak. Um, Thank you so much for everything. I love you guys. I love you guys. All right. I feel like I need to end with a smile here. <laughs> I'm happy. It's fine. I really am. Um, I really am. I just, I'm, it's just sad. I, I feel like I've said that a million times, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to leave just like sobbing and then turn the camera off. But, um, okay. I just now I feel like I'm just repeating the same things over and over and over. So, goodbye. <laughs>
try to keep it simple cause I hate goodbyes I try to keep it simple by telling myself